What is up, MS Gymmers? How you guys doing? Welcome to Daily Exercise with Coach T. What is happening? Uh, glad to see you guys. If you're brand new to the MS Gym, I just want to welcome you. Uh, I want to let you know that this is the place that you need to be in order to learn exercise for MS. We're here every day. We're here every morning. This is not like a weekly exercise thing. This is daily grinding, daily working, daily improvement, daily practice to give you every opportunity to find out what the right combination of exercises are for you to help you retrain your brain, work around your MS damage, and restore your strength, balance, coordination, function, and mobility. So uh, we're in the middle of a series called MS Leg Strengtheners. All of the exercises this week are super duper important leg strengthening exercises that will change your game. Uh, obviously, before we do this, and for those of you who have been here a while, uh, before we do leg strengthening, we will do releases, we will do stretches, we will do activations when we actually put it together in a workout, but we're just going through the teaching today. So if these are a little bit tough, if you're a little bit stiff, if you're like, dude, I don't know if I can do this, fear not, okay? You, uh, you probably need to release some spasticity in your hips, you need to activate your glutes, your hamstrings, all that kind of fun stuff and that'll help you get this done, okay? So Monday, we worked on an MS deadlift, which is where we have a chair behind us reaching down and coming up, okay? Yesterday, we worked on a side lunge, really working on dropping into this leg and then pushing back to center, okay? So we have what's called frontal and transverse plane and coming back up. MS deadlift was straight up sagittal plane, so we're working this direction. Yesterday we worked this direction. Today we're gonna to work what's called the frontal plane, which is balancing side to side. So we're gonna do what's called a side step up, which means we find the step, we turn to the side, we step up. Now as we step up, we're really gonna be using this glute medius, your adductor, and then the opposite side, okay? The opposite side, what's called quadratus lumborum, okay? This is called the lateral subsystem. So this is going to help you that when you take a step and you're strong doing this, it's not going to allow you to fall to the side, which is then going to make you peg leg, right? So if you take a step on your good leg, but then that kind of gives out and you fall, then in order to get this leg up, that's not going to happen. So what does the body have to do? It has to lift and bring the leg over. So you kind of get this, this gate and come up, this gate and come up. So that's called a Trendelenburg sign. I've talked about it like two dozen times since we started over the past year, but that's what that means, okay? So, I'm gonna show you a side step up. This is different than a front step up. Front step ups, I believe, are a little bit tougher just because you have to lift that leg, and for those of you whose hip flexors are not working so hot yet, that one's a little bit tougher. So the side step up I find with MS, uh, a lot of people, a lot more MSers can do, okay? so. That's good. All right, so let me drop my camera just a sec, just a smidgy midgy, right there. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to find uh, about like a, you can find any, any size of step, okay? So literally, you, if to, in order to get the effect in your brain of actually stepping up, you can use like a half inch binder, okay? A half inch binder. Okay, to step up. So this is a four inch step. I'm doing this for emphasis, but you literally can use like a, a half an inch binder. Uh, you can stack up one piece of plywood. And then as you get better, you can go to three quarters of an inch and then one inch and then, you know, one and a quarter inch and then at one and a half and then whatever. So I like these steps because you can go higher and higher, but you do not want to start off on a big old step if your glutes aren't ready. So what you want to do is find a smaller step and use this technique, okay? All right, so let me grab something real quick because I just have an idea. I always have ideas on the fly. Okay, so the form of the side step up, okay, the form of the side step up is as is, is this. So you want to find a, ste a step that you can you, you have somewhere that's super stable, right? 
So if I was doing this to the side, I'd have a wall over here and I'd have a walking pole like right here or a trekking pole or something like that. So you can do it this way, okay? So pole, wall, I'm good. The other thing that you could do is you could actually post up your wheelie walker right here, okay? And have, and have your brakes on and then you could actually step up, okay? Either way, so you could actually kind of just step up and come back down. You don't even have to get this other foot on to make this exercise effective. So you could put some kind of step under your wheelie walker and then just boom. And if this was a shorter platform, obviously I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll still be able to touch the handles. So anything that you need to make you feel stable is what you wanna use. So let me show you the form. So when you do a side step up, this is not gonna be a front step up, okay? We are gonna be to the side of the step. So if you're using a stair and this is a staircase, you will turn to the side, okay? Because what we're trying to work here is this muscle this way. So what this looks like is you're gonna be here, you got your stability points, wall, stick, whatever, okay? So you're gonna be this way. This foot is gonna be to the side of your step and it's really close. You're not way out here. So you're just right like that, foot is this way. Now, as you step up, it's not like this, okay? It's not a knee driver. You actually wanna lean forward and push your hips back. So you're getting that butt pushed back this way, which loads the glute, all right? So number one is you step to the side. Number two is you push your hips back and you lean forward at your hips. Number three is that you shift over into the leg that's on the step. You don't wanna be over here in this leg and try to push off this leg. It ain't gonna happen, all right? You wanna push through the heel and the hip of the leg that's on the step. So you're gonna be this way, and I don't want you this way either. I want you sitting straight back, just like you do in the MS deadlift, just like you did in the side lunge. That's why we're doing this today, because we've covered it, all right? So you're gonna sit back in your glutes so you're straight. You're not this way, and you're not over here. You're in this leg, so you shift. When you look down, you should be able to see your shoelaces. If you don't, and all you see is your knee, you're way too far forward, okay? So if you look down and you don't see your shoelaces, you're too far forward, you gotta stick that butt back more, okay? And then with the hand on the wall, you're here, you shift, abs are in, leaning forward, you wanna push through your bootay and your hips, and then all you're gonna do is just step up. Now, you're, if you have hip flexor issues, you're not gonna be able to pick a foot up like this. And if you're on a half an inch step, you basically just have to slide your foot across. So it's just gonna be up, and you can just kinda, you can kinda just slide that foot over. So it's easier to pull it in when it's dangling than lift it up when it's dangling, okay? So that's why I like the side, the side step up. Now, if you have a pretty solid base, you may not even need to move this leg. You just get over, step up, come back down. Step up, come back down, okay? So that's the form. So the key is shift your butt back, shift into that hip, drive from the heel and the foot, okay? So if I'm gonna be doing this, let's say I'm here, Leg is this way, my foot's on the side of the step, not behind the step. So I'm on my wall and my shtick here, so we're back. And then it's push up, one. Sit back, now as you come back down, you gotta touch the floor and then sit back again, shift into that hip and come back again. So it looks like this, is when I, as I step up, I step up, what a lot of people do is they fall and they shift into this leg and then they get off balance. So as you step up, if my hand's on the wall here, I step up, and then as I come back down, I keep my weight in this hip, okay? I don't come down and shift over to this side because basically you're just falling. So you've gotta use that glute and the adductor and the abs to control it. So hand on wall, hand on shtick, we're leaning forward, shift into the hip, step up, come back down, stay shifted into the hip, but always remind yourself here, so blades are down, abs are in, push from the butt, step back down. Blades are down, abs are in, 
Shift to the butt and push. Come back down. Blades are down, abs are in. Shift to the butt. Boom, like that, okay? All right, so let's go 10 on each side. Um, I'll show you in this direction just so you can see kind of what I'm doing, okay? Um, otherwise, I guess I could go diagonal. So I'll, go, I'll go a little diagonal, huh? All right, so right here. So hand on stick, hand on here, or hand on wheelie walker. What else? Or you can put both hands on a wall. Like, you can literally come up and have it just like this. I'm good. Boom. Come back down. Boom. Come back down. Whatever you need to do. Okay? Whatever you need to do. So you can go wheelie walker, you can go wall and stick, or you can go double wall. Ready? Here we go. So, here we go. Butt back, I shift into this hip, push through my heel, step up. One, butts, guts, blades up top. Find your balance. Bring it back down slow. Ready? Blades are down, abs are in. Push through your heel and your tush. Up, butts, guts, blades. Find your balance. And back down. Sit, shift, sit, shift into this hip. Now push, stand, butts, guts, blades. And back down. Sit, shift, push, butts, guts, blades. And back down. Sit, shift, push, butts, guts, blades. And down. Sit, shift, push, butts, guts, blades. Back down. Sit, shift, push. Butts, guts, blades, last one, down. Sit, shift, butts, guts, blades, okay? All right, so let's go to the other side. Okay, give me a little rest. All right. <coughs> All right, so wall, sneak, go. Here we go, sit. Shift into that leg, push, butts, guts, blades, okay? And actually, I'll do this one from the front because I want you to see the shift. So imagine I have a wall here. So sit, shift, step up, butts, guts, blades, down. Sit, shift, push, butts, guts, blades, and down. Sit, shift, blades down, abs in. And push, BGB, good. Down, sit, shift, lock everything down, push. Key is you gotta get your shoulder blades down. Sit, you may think this is a leg exercise, it's full body. Shift, blades down, find that core, Ugh, boom. You let your whole body help you lift. Sit, shift, blades down, abs in, and push. BGB, back down, sit, shift, blades down, abs in, use that booty, boom, last one, S down, sit, shift, BGB, and push, oh, and back down, okay, good job. So again, real quick, you could use this with a walker, okay, same deal, okay, you're way back here, so you're not, you're not out this way. You're pulling that walker pretty close. Sit, shift, push up, BGB, step back down. Now, it may be a little bit weird with the wheels, but you'll figure it out, okay? Just make sure you have your brakes on, okay? So you can do it that way, or you got the wall, right? So you got sit, shift, blades down, push, okay? All right. So I gave you guys multiple variations on that. So from a physics standpoint, when, you're, when you have a weight and you move it up a distance, that is called work. That is that a force times distance, right? So that's called work. You're moving a force a certain distance. Uh, when you start to add incline like this, then you, it's a different type of work on your body. So it is challenging and there is some work involved when you're when you're walking but for you to be able to, to plant your body and then go against fight against gravity 
and, and, and step up, it activates so many muscles up and down your body, okay? So step ups are really important. They're also very scary for a lot of MSers. They're also very laborious, meaning they're, they're difficult, right, for a lot of people. So it is going to be challenging for your brain. It's going to shake your confidence a little bit, like, oh my gosh. But if you can focus, just find like a half an inch of plywood, a half an inch of a book, like literally, like that much, and then just go through the same motion. It's going to be very small, but if you think about even on a small, tiny platform, as you sit, shift, and then just step up, and it may, it may just be like that much. It may be that much. It may be that much. It may be that much. What that's doing is it's working your, it's still working your glute, still working your adductor, you're still working pelvic tilt, you still got BGB, and that initiation of that step up is going to transfer into walking, into getting up, into, into standing, into balancing, and also if you have to go up, if you have to step up a curve. If, you, if there's an uneven surface on the sidewalk, your body has to know how to do this and lift up. If you haven't trained your body to elevate, then you're really limiting what you can do in life. Because once you leave a nice flat floor and you go out there, it, everything becomes uneven and unstable. So just on a microscopic level, you've got to train your body to be able to go up an incline or raise your body up if it hits something so you're not constantly catching your toes or just, or just stumbling because your body can't find it and know how to push up. So this is a super useful exercise. Uh, I use it a ton in my movement camps and, uh, and, and my rebuild program in the membership. And a lot of people are challenged with the step up, but once they practice and once they focus on the releases, activation, stretching, and then they finally get the step up, uh, it's like an entire new sense and restoration of freedom. So I encourage you to try it. I encourage you to try to go through this, really lock it down, really feel good about it. Um, and then we'll, we'll do this and repeat this again on Friday. If this was really difficult for you, spend to go through another lesson today and a couple times tomorrow before we do the full circuit on Friday so you can really get a feel for what the full strength circuit feels like. All right? So I love you guys. You're fantastic. Give me some thumbs up if you like this. Give me some... Some hearts if you like it, comments away, and uh, look out, it is Wednesday, it is Misty Moment Day. If you don't know what that is, look for it. My wife comes on and does some awesome stuff. Uh, that'll be around noon-ish, sometime mountain time, 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, uh, and we got a lot of good stuff going. So, you guys have a fantastic day. Remember, it's sit, shift, step. Sit, shift, step. If you can remember that all day, you got it. It's just like BGP, sit, shift, step, boom.